You know them, you love them, and if you're anything like us, you've probably spent hours scrolling through thirst traps about them. We're talking about the man, the myth, the memeified legend himself, Pedro Pascal. Now we know what you're thinking. Pedro might not fit the typical Hollywood hunk mold like Brad Pitt or Chris Hemsworth, but let us tell you, that does not matter one bit to his legion of female fans. They are straight up obsessed with him. So what's the secret to his appeal? Is it his rugged good looks, his smoldering stare? Well, those things certainly don't hurt, but it's his personality that really sets him apart from the pack. Pedro Pascal is a man who exudes charm, intelligence, and wholesomeness that drives women wild. In this video, we're going to dissect the many alluring qualities and personality traits that have turned Pedro Pascal into the internet's favorite dad. So stick around to the end of the video and take notes because this is the kind of inspiration that can take you from zero to hero in women's eyes. He's a wholesome icon. If you've ever seen an interview with Pedro Pascal, you'll know that he's just as charming and as endearing off screen as he is on screen. He's the kind of guy who can make you laugh and feel good just by being in the same room with him. In fact, here's his wholesome interview with Pascal by Gumpy from We Can Be Heroes, where he's exuding dad energy despite not being a dad himself. I'm Vivian Lyra Blair, and today I'm interviewing Pedro Pascal, who is also in that, so let's get started. Let me get ready too. Let me. Slides for the movie. No, those, those special <laughs> me by uh, Robert Ryan. Did they have names? Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sharpie. Since you're the leader of the club, like any connection to the But it's clear that Pascal's wholesome image is not just a result of his natural charisma, but also his groundedness and loyalty towards his loved ones. As shown in this clip, he's someone who comes across as genuine and down to earth, and despite his fame, Pascal never forgets the people who were there with him during his hardship. I was alone. I had to do it uh, on my own and, and gradually sort of like carve out a very, very specific and responsible bubble during the pandemic. And so the, uh, the, the friends, the friends that I, that got me through it, are absolutely everything to me, and 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 very beautifully and marked, and, and my the old friends and new friends um, that uh, that 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 literally did nothing short of like parent me through the experience. Overall, in a world full of negativity, it's refreshing to see someone like Pedro Pascal, who embodies wholesome value, and men who strive to cultivate similar qualities can instantly become more attracted to women and build meaningful connections. He's a great storyteller. Something that immediately captures our attention about Pedro are his great storytelling skills. Telling stories are all about adding some spice and exaggeration. You need to give your story some dramatic flair, throw in a twist, or even a surprise ending to keep your audience on their toes. Pedro does all that and more. Here's Pedro talking about working with Baby Yoda in The Mandalorian. You're dealing with a puppet, and I'm like, this puppet is making me cry. <laughs> right. You know, it's like, you know, uh, 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 you know, I fully and I'm like, damn. <laughs> Knows how he uses impressions to make the story way more immersive than it is. That's something you can try to do to turn any boring tale into something worth paying attention to. Another thing that makes Pedro's story so captivating is impeccable timing and pacing. He knows when to speed up the tempo and when to slow it down, how to build up suspense and when to drop the punchline. While talking about how he got the opportunity to star in The Last of Us, Pedro does this hilarious impression of his young nephews. My nephew's names, and they're like, what is it? And I was like, it's called The Last, and they're, The Last of Us? <laughs> <laughs> you better get that job! <laughs> if you watch the interview, you'll see how Pedro took that story from zero to 100, dropping the funny impression at exactly the right moment. In short, timing is everything, folks. Practice reading the room and adjust accordingly. So if you want to become the life of the party to get some female attention, take a page out of Pedro Pascal's book and work on mastering your storytelling skills. Maybe one day, you'll be the one getting all the laughs and applause. He's a certified flirt. Pedro Pascal is a certified flirt. In interviews, he seamlessly blends teasing and compliments that lead the interviewer blushing. You're our delight. So good to see you. So good to see you too. Yes. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. But what makes his flirting style so effective? First, 
Pascal oozes confidence. He's not afraid to be himself, whether that means cracking a joke or giving a genuine compliment. <laughs> an actor eats. An actor eats. Oh, by Sarah Paulson and Pedro Pascal. It's, a, it's going to be an incredible short film. <laughs> but Perry, but Pascal is also a master of flirting without being creepy. He knows how to walk the line between charm. What item from the Game of Thrones world would you bring to The Last of Us? I really loved my robe. I knew yeah. you were going to say it. This is why I said clothing. I'm telling you. I knew you were going to say your I robe. Just, well, because they've looked fucking awesome. <laughs> right. What about you? I liked my armor from season eight. Yeah. It'd be heavy. <laughs> I could be swishing around. <laughs> and and I like, like, protecting me, basically. <laughs> Asking questions and letting others speak shows that you have a genuine interest in them. It also gives them space to share their perspectives and gives you the chance to learn something new. He's goofy and hilarious. What makes Pedro Pascal truly stand out is his quick wit and sense of humor. He has a contagious laugh and can effortlessly lighten the mood in any situation. His humor is often goofy and playful, which makes him all the more endearing. Take this interview with Graham Norton as an example where he just keeps the atmosphere fun and lighthearted by constantly cracking jokes and acting goofy. Uh, but, so what's there? What was the question? Uh, what's there? What's there? This kind of playful humor shows that Pascal doesn't take himself too seriously and is not afraid to have fun. His humor is not limited to interviews as well. On social media, he posts hilarious pictures from time to time, showing his comedic side to his followers. He also frequently engages with fans in a lighthearted and humorous way, making him even more relatable. Pascal's goofiness and humor are not just entertaining. They also show that he is confident and comfortable in his own skin. Men can learn from this by not taking themselves too seriously and being willing to let loose and have fun. He's not afraid to be emotional, as an actor, Pedro has given us some stunningly emotional performances. But the man behind these characters is just as expressive. He knows how to tap into his emotions and convey them in a way that feels authentic and relatable. In his hit show, The Last of Us, Pedro plays a very emotionally reserved man. But in reality, he's the exact opposite. Look what his young co-star, Bella Ramsey, has to say about their bond. I feel protective of him. <laughs> we love each other. Yeah, she's all right. <laughs> it's like, leave me alone. You, you yeah. don't ever leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll, I'll be here forever. Thank you. It's absolutely heart melting to see how Pedro openly shows affection for Bella, as if she's his own daughter. This shows us how comfortable he is with being openly affectionate with the people he loves. Even Pedro's monologue on Saturday Night Live took an emotional turn when he started talking about his family back in Chile. Like I said, I was months later, my parents brought me and my sister. They were so brave here in this wonderful country. I'm here with you all tonight. So to all my friends, I say te amo, te extraño, deja de dar mi información, which means I love not giving out my phone number. Thing show for you tonight. Crying on international television takes a lot of guts, but Pedro does it with a quiet humility and charm that makes him look more human. In a world that encourages men to be as stoic as possible, Pedro's tendency to show his emotions and be vulnerable is like a breath of fresh air. Because if this heartthrob isn't afraid to shed a few tears, then neither should you be. So let loose and be your authentic emotional self. Only add to your appeal. Pedro has set the bar pretty high, not just for his fans, but also for the Hollywood stereotype of a leading man. His fame proves that women are willing to look beyond a chiseled jawline and perfect body to fall in love with the man within. Aren't we all looking for someone to connect with after all? So, take it from the internet's recently crowned daddy. Being sincere and wholesome is the way to go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show us some love with a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more celebrity tips and tricks to conquer the dating world. See you next time.